Now we can tap everybody, which is insane. This is so much better than yesterday. We gain the life and we attack again. Oakley Dokley. Yesterday we didn't do so hot in our jump start. Today we're gonna do a little bit better. I think Legion. I think we're going aggro. Legion Dragon or Legion Elves? Wow, I think Legion Elves question mark. Nah, Legion Dragons, let's be serious. Get real. You have dragons, you play dragons. Simple as that. Want a 1 1 token or a 4 4 flyer? Let me ask you. I'm oh, just kidding. I know the tokens do great as well, and we should. Uh, the Legion should be a lot of uh, low to the ground creatures there. Two lands. Uh, we're not really playing anything. We've got a little bit of removal and a flyer. Uh, oof. Nothing really great though. Free mulligan. Let's take it. Um, keep seven. That's the one nice thing about the free mulligans. No harm, no foul. And now we're off to the races. Ooh, Terror of the Peaks. That's why you pick dragons, kids. Crazy Alarm in play. Your go. We're going sure strike next turn. A few damage. He gets one of them. That's fine. We have to keep creature in play. That's always very, very nice. We need a second red source for our terror. Right? Dropping four next turn. So we're really going to buff our double strike here, which is cool. He attacks, and now we can tap everybody, which is insane. This is so much better than yesterday. Good game. And we actually even had lethal there, which is really cool. Woohoo! So, a little bit of a friendlier jumpstart experience here. One game, one win, right? Let's try to go 2-0 and here with Legion Dragons. It's a mythic as well. Uh... This is an amazing green card. Uh, one of our favorites on the podcast, Friday Night Magic. Check that out if you guys haven't been listening to it. Can't be countered. Green spells you control can't be countered. You can pay six. Uh, each elf becomes a 5-5 five, five dinosaur. <sighs> That's going in some decks, let me tell you what. Let's get into our second match. Pretty quick turnover time. Uh, we're under three minutes for the video so far, so hopefully we can pump out some of these jumpstart videos for you guys uh, quite quickly. So just so you can... Uh, see what all of the different decks look like. Our opponent's got his new avatar on. We forgot to play ours. Um, this is really nice. If we can find the, the second red source for it. The free mulligan is really good, so I think we should take that again. Just looking for a three land. We just got our Siege Striker again, which is really, really good. That's incredibly lucky. Alright, uh, some shenanigans there. We can play on top of it, that's his turn. Bring Graveyard to the battlefield. He doesn't have any um, there. We don't really need that. Uh, let's just go get our Siege Striker in. 1-1, one, one, double strike. Normally not too strong, but uh, we're going to buff him up pretty good. 0-5, that's great. Gets plus X, plus 0, where X is the greatest amount of power among creatures in your graveyard. And it enters the battlefield, mill 4. Wow. So we could push it up to a four uh, attack first strike, which won't kill the grub. So we're gonna have to hold on a little bit. We have no dragons yet. Maybe we just play defensively.
Oh my lord, the Sky Summoner? That's very, very good. We'll go untapped here. Grab, uh, what is it, white or red? This is ins sorcery. Hmm. This is instance. This could save us. Makes our battle on a 4-3, which is pretty nice. And then, uh, I guess we could just survive this, or do we push the damage? We survive it. And he's got the eliminate on deck. Dirty dog. That's not good for us. He's comboing out perfectly. That's basically what we did last game. That's incredible. Brutal. No dragons so far. Just so sad. Six. I appreciate that. Twelve left is plenty, though, so it's gonna be pretty hard to get around. What did you just pull? Read the tides. Loving it. So we've got nothing to destroy. We could puff up, puff up, buff up. Oh, actually, not doing that. Just trying to uh, to push him down a little bit, right? Definitely needs to block that 5-3 with double. Oh, he wants to kill on the... Okay. It's pretty smart. Maybe we should have kept the idol back. Misplay city! Down to 12. I'm just like super duper choked that uh, he's able to execute so well. I mean, yeah. GG's. Uh, super duper RIPs. Down to 6. Can we even do anything? An 8 6. That when it becomes blocked, he gains 2 life and we lose two life no blood let's just uh we'll take it on the chin and we're gonna try to win in the next match because this has gone way out of hand all right we're kind of hoping for uh, a repeat of match number one here just going wide uh utilizing our one ones for double strike hopefully Bears in the forest. Interesting. It's a, a unique name. I kind of like that. So we've got our Siege Striker. Um, I, I think this is like a little bit expensive though. We go first, which is just wicked. Three high cost spells within the deck. 5-5 five, five with haste, though. That's interesting. It's shuffled into our library. That's why it's so good. Only thrill if we don't draw land next turn. Hopefully we do draw land and we can create those four dogs. 
Um, that's gonna be a lot of fun. No block here, I assume he can kill us. No land. It's really good to get those two cards out of the way, at least. No attacks, straight chillin'. Getting hit for three. No blocks. The axe sucks as well. Land's not bad, pushes us to four. Push out the dogs, baby. This is a big hit. He has to block this. Makes it a 4-4. Uh, removes it from the battlefield, so uh, we're submitting zero. We don't need to attack any. I'll take the flyer. I mean, it's not double strike. But it also, I don't think it's being blocked by you. Ooh, and then he crushes it with Crushing Canopy. I love it. You dirty dog. We're down to 14. Let's play our 3-3 with Vigilance. Creates uh, a 2-2 as well. How are we going to get around this ginger brew? Does it need to be our faith's letters? Faith's fetters. Yeah, it definitely needs to be. Or, we play Smash. This is seven attacks. Um, yes, he could double kill. He doesn't. He just takes the damage, and we've got uh, you know two of those creatures with vigilance. So I think that's game. A rare card, though, when it enters the battlefield, gain five life. That really helps. Can't block or attack. I say we just throw it right on him. We gain the life, and we attack again. Good game. Two wins, one loss. Um, I think Legion Dragons within Jumpstart is definitely more powerful than yesterday's deck, which was Dinosaurs Above the Clouds. So let's recap our deck really quick and take uh, a quick conversation about why it worked so well. We get another rare, so look at how easy and quick it is to farm these rares within the Jumpstart event. Absolutely loving it. And uh, we got this Hellkite Punisher. That's sick. 6-6 six, six with flying. Terror of the Peaks. We all know this is broken from standard. And then even more dragons. So a lot of top-end dragons. And then the uh, the Legion combo is pretty cool because so we can put plus one, plus one counters on everything. Uh, make certain things stronger, which is really cool. And then... We use the Siege Striker with all the tokens to just make him incredibly strong. So, a very cool deck, you guys. If you're enjoying these quick jumpstart matches, let me know in the comments below. Quick reminder, I'm on YouTube every single morning at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard at 7. We go live on Twitch. And then for the next three to four hours, we're engaging there. And we're also in the Discord for the remainder of the day. So, links for all of that in the description below. I want to take a moment to thank you all for your time and attention. People supporting the channel financially, you're all incredible. Thank you so much. Uh, without you, this would not be possible. So I'm trying to help bridge the gap between um, the free-to-play individuals and standard and kind of usher them in to the historic format as the next few months go on, leading into the renewal season where um, Corset 2020 and back, so Warp the Spark and Ravnica, all that get to push into historic. We get Zendikar Rising in standard. So. I think a lot of you will have a bulk amount of those cards that are being put in Historic. So we're going to be focusing on Historic free-to-play, Brawl free-to-play, and really 
help uh, you guys expand your play styles uh, away from just standard and just uh, standard best of one too. So I hope you guys are excited uh, for the remainder of the year. I know I'm really looking forward to crushing uh, this content with you guys. So I hope you have been enjoying and uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share to a friend, hit that bell icon so you're notified of our future uploads and all of that goodness. Do take care and we will see you all again tomorrow. Same time, same place. Peace.